Now, let's get really clever. We have been being kind of stupid, and that's a bit of a mean word, but our implementation, we were finding information and then not using it. So, we're going to do a find set that is path compression, which is a very fancy phrase for something that's very obvious. So, let's imagine I wanted to find the set that X9 was in. In order to do that, I would have to, no matter what, no ifs, ands, or buts, go up and go up and then eventually realize that I'm pointing at myself. But after having done that, I've already done a bunch of work. And now I know for a fact X9 is in the set, same set as X1. So why not make X9 instead point up at X1? This is actually going to save us a lot of time. We're gonna do the same thing for X7. I was already doing that, but we're gonna do that anyway. And then our tree, we will have moved one node from the bottom up to being a child of the root, which means that we might potentially reduce the height. This is called path compression. It's not so obvious looking at this. Maybe we want a better example, but all we're doing is as we go up, we're gonna find the representative for our set and then make every single element on that path, all these blue things here, point at that parent that we just found. And hopefully, potentially, maybe, who knows, possibly somewhere along the way, we could improve our runtime by doing this. It's not obvious, I didn't reduce the height by doing this, right? I, it just made it so if I need to look up X9 in the future, it's better. So maybe look at a harder example and see if this helps us. So let's go down, look at a harder example. Let's imagine I wanted to find the set for X9 here. If I did that, I would go up, 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 so let's trace that path again in blue like we did before. So we trace the path we took. And then what do we do? We're going to make every single node in that path point at X10 instead. And notice now X10 is something that has a lot more children. And if I kept doing this, eventually I would have this very, 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 very wide tree which is what we want, because we want the height to be as small as possible. And when you can have an arbitrary number of children, your ideal tree looks a bit stupid, but is, is something that looks like root, child, 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 all connecting up to the root. This is our ideal situation for this algorithm. And by doing path compression, every time we perform a fine set operation, we are going to improve the tree in some way by making more nodes point at the parent. So this is a way to improve our runtime. Notice again, I didn't actually reduce the height here. So analyzing this becomes actually beyond the scope of this course. And when we're combining two sets, we are going to also want to modify that to do this in an intelligent way to try and maximize our benefit from doing it this way. I will not go into this, but if anyone is interested, the amortized runtime here is n alpha of n, where alpha of n is what's called the inverse Ackerman function. Which if anyone likes number file or any sort of typical math YouTube channels, you may have heard of the Ackerman function as a very, very, very fast growing function. It grows extremely quickly. The inverse therefore grows very slowly. This grows way, way slower than logs. As far as anyone is practically concerned, this is effectively a constant. For any practical purpose, the Ackerman function is effectively a constant. It's not, but it is effectively so. I will again not go into this, but if you want to read about it, feel free to read about union by rank for union find. I can send you information about that if you want to read more about it. This is an intelligent way to implement this. I can also send you information about the fast growing functions like the Ackerman function. They're pretty interesting to see how they work. If, it's, if a, a function is fast growing, it's inverse. The inverse Ackerman function would necessarily be very, very slowly growing. 